Hi, you guys. It is Thursday, December 10th, 2015. My name is Doris, and this is the Knit and Pearl Podcast, episode 76. If you are new to this podcast, thank you for stopping by. And if you are returning, I so appreciate you guys because I know there are so many podcasts on iTunes and on YouTube. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me. And if you find anything of value, hit that red button down here on YouTube to subscribe and go over here and hit the thumbs up. And I would thank you so much. Leave me a comment. Thank you. Um, you can find the show notes for this podcast on knitandpearl.net, which is P-E-A-R-L. Um, in social media, I am one fine cow, all spelled out. On Ravelry and Twitter, I am Doris. Wait a minute. <laughs> I am one, the number, fine cow on Facebook and Etsy. And I am Doris M. Smith, all lowercase and squished together on Instagram. Okay, well, you don't have to remember it. You can go look at the show notes and look me up. <laughs> this podcast has a Ravelry group, which is the Knit and Pearl podcast group. There are links in the show notes so that you can go click on it and, you know, go join the group. Enjoy the fun. We, I do a birthday shout out for the Ravelry group. And this week we have one birthday who is All That Cake Knit, who is Dorothy. Her birthday was Tuesday, December 8th. Happy birthday, belated, but happy birthday. I hope you had a wonderful day. And you got real cake, <laughs> if you like real cake. Um, so that leads us to the November cowl and the prize draw. The November cow was the finished objects thread. Uh, we had 13 entries. I'm having trouble seeing today. 13 entries. So the prize is a $6 or less giftable pattern on Ravelry. And let me find my random number generator and I will get this up and we'll just draw. And we have one through 13. What I normally do is I allow chatter. And so then I go through and pick the num the people. Here is the list of 13 entries, one through 13. That's what I do. I just kind of go through and pick the actual entries. And then we draw a six dollar left giftable pattern on Ravelry. 1 through 13, generate. Number 6 is the winner. Number 6 is Carsol12, K-A-R-S-O-L-12. Leave me a message on Ravelry. Let me know what pattern you want, and I will get that to you. I think this Karen, I'm not for sure. Yeah, I don't have an iPad anymore to look it up so fast. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Um, so, congratulations and thank you for all who participated. It was wonderful seeing some lovely items. And there's one pattern that I want to try, the bob Babble Hat. I've never done color work, but um, I really want to try it. And I love that hat. So, anyway... Congratulations, and it leads us into the December along, and you know, we all have stress with things that we want to get finished by Christmas, so I decided we would have a no stress comment thread. The prompt for this comment thread is, what is your favorite things about the holiday season? What are, what are some favorite, some things that just, oh Lord, I can't even talk. What are, I should say, your favorite things about the holiday season? That is your prompt. 
Chatter is welcome and encouraged on the thread and all posts count as entries. Unlimited posts within reason. So in other words, I don't want you to say, you know, make your post, oh, homemade cookies, next post, homemade candy, next post, Christmas trees, next post, you know, within reason. Uh, uh, like, I'm just thinking that uh, as you go through the day and something happens that you think, oh yeah, that is another favorite part of the Christmas, then go in and write that, you know. Um, Unlimited posts, like I said, within reason. You guys understand. Um, be it began, I opened the thread last night, and it will end on January 7th. And on January, I think, 7th is a, po is a podcast day. And I will draw the winner, and the winter, the winner gets a special package from me. And I'm excitedly thinking about what that's going to be. So it'll be a nice package. And guess what? The, the gift and the presents are not over. You'll get a present. The winner will get a present in January. <laughs> so, you know, instead of like stressing and having one more thing to put in, just it's a comment thread. What are your favorite things about the holiday season? Enjoy. So... The story of the week in stash enhancement. We had a lovely time at the Big and Rich concert last Thursday. That is why there wasn't a podcast last Thursday. Um, we had a lovely time. So I'm going to, at this point, insert photos of, a few photos of the concert. a lovely visit with my sister and her family over the weekend they each got a knitted hat and well okay the girls did knitted hat and knitted socks for Christmas I just kind of went through my knitted hats and different things that I'd finished through the years and picked ones that I thought would fit them and well of course Thanksgiving okay Thanksgiving Eve I did a FaceTime with my sister and my nieces and I showed stuff and they picked the hats that they would like. And then I went back through my sock drawer with, I mean, these are obviously socks I haven't worn and um, gifted them each a pair of knit socks too. But I told them, I said, if it doesn't fit, you don't get to keep it. I'll bring it back home. But if it fits, great. <laughs> so uh, what else? I, that was random and I hadn't planned on sharing that, but. Um, and then Monday night, I got my Christmas, my Christmas stocking swap package. So can I share some things with you? It's right here. Came in a box like this. It came from the UK. And this is my stocking that was full. Isn't that so cute? The little Santa mm, comes out and there's a, he's got a little bag. And it fits in this little chimney on the stocking. That is so cute. She did an amazing job knitting it. Thank you so much. So I'm just going to show some of the things that I got. That made me smile and happy. First thing is the skein of yarn, which is one of my stash enhancements. Is that pretty? It is naturally since they naturally sensation 75% merino 30% angora and it is it smells delicious it feels delicious it is um 100 i think it's 131 yards very nice very nice very nice um and i got I wanted I have wanted one of these for for a while and I just never got one a row counter love it and I've already used it 
I love black and white. I love collecting cow things. I got a pair of socks. <laughs> so cute. And they're pink. <laughs> it says, I'm not in the mood. I love it. I got a cow, a little cow pouch. So cute. And uh, from London, uh, a um, keychain with a phone box, a flag, and a trolley bus. So pretty. So cute. Nice. And a little, I'm not sharing all. These are like little post-it note things. So cute. I got some chocolates. Mm -hmm. This was full. <laughs> some cocoa, which I'm looking forward to trying. Oh my goodness. Wait, wait for it. <laughs> awesome. My family's not happy about that. <laughs> and some bath fizzers. So cute. Let me see. Just bear with me. A button Christmas ornament thing. I'm going to put that together. A, oh, a Christmas ornament. So pretty. She may, I'm assuming she made that. I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. A beautiful card. Lorraine. I'm sorry. I, I couldn't. I had Lorraine and Rainy mixed up, so I couldn't. So anyway, Lorraine. Thank you so much. This was so wonderful. So fun. She had each individual thing wrapped, and it was just so fun to dig in and see what each thing was. A little notebook with a pen. Okay, I said I wasn't going to share everything, but it looks like I did. And some candies that are already gone. And some... This is um, wool wash. So... It was really so fun to open this up and see and open and unwrap each little thing. Again, let me show you my beautiful stocking. So cute. Okay, enough of that. While I was in Kansas City, which is what I like to do, go to the local yarn store. And I went to a store. It was the Yarn Mercantile. Um, and they're in Independence, Missouri. It's actually a store with two separate yarn stores in one. So there's like a green line down the middle that separates the two stores. Well, I purchased some Regia from Yarn Craft Yarn or Knit Craft Yarn Shop, which is one of the shops. And I'm sorry, I didn't. Even, we were there late. They were getting ready to close, so I didn't really. I didn't get a card from the other store, but here's my purchase from that. Ah! <laughs> Pink and purple, Regia. It is the Floramania colorway, and the colors are in, I put it, it's in the description. Um, color number 07185, and the lot is 889. But isn't that just gorgeous? I love it. It's pink and purple. And it's Regia, which the last ball of Regia I got, I didn't use. I ended up giving as a gift. So I'm going to try to use this one. So that brings us to finished objects. And excuse me, a little drink of coffee. I have one finished object that I'm not happy about. I finished the Gazelle Gazelleg 
Klong Kuzi hat. Links in the show notes to the pattern. And I, I modified it to make it look like a little Santa hat. Well, I'm not happy with it because it's not drapey like I would like. It's just kind of blonky, blonky kind of. So if I have time, I'm, I'm going to make the original pattern and just let it go with that because it's a cute hat. So you see that? Mm, that's not what I wanted to happen. I wanted it to be drapier. So it's a finished object. And that's it. So we're going to just, I'm going to show all of my whips and then we're going to talk about uh, future knitting plans. Because I have things that need to be finished. So we're just going to go through the. the in my Join Springs Knit Spin Farm bag, sock bag, I started the second sock. And so it was laying in the, in I I finished the other sock, um, I don't know when I started it, maybe last week. And I hadn't started the other one and I watched a Made by Faye, I think last Monday, um, her podcast and she just inspired me and I sit down while watching her show and started the second sock. I didn't get very far. I got the heel put in while I was away. While I was at my sister's, I put one side of the heel on one night and the other side the next night and I've knit maybe an inch of the foot. Well, yeah, about an inch of the foot. You can't really tell. So, but I love the yarn. I love the color. I love the pattern. This is my modified Rose City Rollers. I just did like an inch of the roll part and then did a Fish Lips Kiss Heel. Um, I'm, this is a Christmas gift. So it's something that needs to be finished. So anyway, I started it. So this is how much I've done on it this week. All of this. So, the Rose City Rollers is a free pattern on Ravelry by Mara Catherine Briner. The yarn is Plymouth Yarn Neon Now, which is 75% wool and 25% nylon. The color is a number. What just fell out? That was weird. Oh. <laughs> Here's the, the skein of yarn and... There's the color. Can you see it? There you go. This is something that needs to be accomplished since it is a Christmas gift. Um, I started last night a ruffle scarf. Yes. So this is a um, commissioned project. So it needs to be done. Hopefully I'll get it done on the weekend. This is a free pattern on the back of this. And this, this yarn is Starbella Flash by Premium Yarns. And it's a ruffle scarf. And the pattern is on the inside for the ruffle scarf. And the needles, I'm using 9 millimeter, which is a thir US 13. I love these. These are Lantern Moon needles. I love them. This is a must get done as well. She said she wasn't in a hurry, but, you know, I'm going to get them done as soon as I can. So this is something that I will continue to knit. 
in my bag that I got as a birthday gift, not my birthday, but Fernanda's birthday last year. Fernanda from Made by, Made by Faye. I love this bag. Um, my, oops, it's not attached to the yarn anymore. This is my Simple Raglan Cardi, which is a free pattern on Ravelry by Lion Brand Yarn. Uh, the yarn is loops and threads, snuggly wuggly, which is 100% acrylic. The color is Doodle Dots. What else do I need to say about this? The pattern calls for US 6, which is a 4 millimeter, and US 7, which is a 4.5. I am using instead US 7s and US 8s. Addy turbos, 40 inch circulars. I modified the pattern by using the larger needles, hoping that it will fit me better, and because I want it to be more drapey. And I also added sleeves and a little bit of length to the body. So, as you noticed, there's where I was two weeks ago, and I finished the sleeve. And another modification is that I added the garter ridges to help break up the stockinette. So I love it. I can't wait for it to be done. I've yet to do the panels, the, the rib panels on either side of the front. But this is a this is a project that is going to go into hibernation because I have things that I need to get finished sooner than this. <laughs> so this is going into hibernation until I get finished with all the other things that need to be done in the next two or three weeks. Just because I'm feeling a little stressed. I'm feeling a little stressed about things that I haven't even started yet that need to be done by the Christmas or the end of the month. So in my Joy and Springs Knit Spin Farm medium sized bag is my Freesia which is a paid for pattern on Ravelry by Jumper Cables. The yarn is Broco Vintage DK. The color is a number. If I can get you, can I show it? And I started, can you see it? I started the third skein this week. I'm using my square needles, uh, four, mil four millimeter, which is, I'm sorry, I'm lost, which is a, a US six squares, 40 inch circular. I love this pattern. I love the process and I love the product. Um, I didn't knit much. That's probably where I was two weeks ago. I, I think I finished a pattern repeat. I am at 20, read my 22 or 23 of 25 pattern repeats. So it's almost done, but I'm on really long rows. I have to show you the pad, the patterning, the the oh Lord and everything. The beautiful lace work. This is what caught my eye when I first saw the pattern. I needed to have this. <laughs> it is a rectangular shawl that's a little knit on the bias. This project is also going into hiatus until these things that I haven't worked on get completed. Meh, meh, meh. 
I'm not even going to show you the, the um, tunic because I haven't touched it. So, I have two ruffle scarves, including the one you saw, that need to be completed. I have a Snuggie to go with this hat that needs to be completed. Her, the baby's due date is to the 29th. So, I have got to focus. I need to start, I haven't started the Snuggie. I need to start the Snuggie. I need to work on these socks and I need to complete the two ruffle scarves. So, that's my future plans for knitting. Um, so, no spinning. And um, so we're gonna go to the Pinterest and uh, it's going to be a little, a little weird because I sold my iPad. I guess was it before Thanksgiving or after? I don't remember. But I've been iPadless, so I have to use my phone until I get, until Christmas, unless I can get it before then. <laughs> so let me go to. I'm so spoiled. Um, the Pinterest find is 39 stocking stuffers that will actually be appreciated and don't feel like you're wasting your money and won't be broken, destroyed, or forgotten by New Year's. Here's what it looks like. Links in the show notes. Links in the show notes to all the patterns that were mentioned, except if they were mine that are projects I'm working on. And uh, there's a link for for the um, uh, Knit Spin Farms. It's a link to Pinterest. And I'm going to go into it and share a few things. This is a cool pen because it's, it's by Modern Mrs. Darcy. And it's broken up into categories. She has a category of to play, and there's like play silks, puzzle books, baseball cards, glow sticks, silly potty, things like that. And then to wear, hair bows and bands, pants, panties and boxers, tights, cute socks. To eat, Altoids, beef jerky, trail mix, drink mixes, and... Fun things, but useful. Flashlights, batteries, candles, paper straws to read. There's board books, slim paperbacks, and book light. And I think that in there, there's links to where you can pick up those things. To write, like blank journals, note, pe note cards, pens, postage stamps. Uh, person, and they, she suggested making them like personal as in maybe Batman or Harry Potter personal items like bubble bath nail polish character band-aids um, and so on uh, to craft markers crayons colors uh, or the holy grail of pencil sharpeners and there's a link to that um, Scotch tape or washi tape, stickers, post-it notes, and then small craft kits from Kiwi Crate Link. For grown-ups, coffees, teas, milk frother or homemade lattes, Dollar Shave Club. So, kind of cool. Go check it out. Links in the show notes. Let me try to get Rika to see it. 39 stocking stuffers that act, that will actually be appreciated. Okay. And the stumble is a quote that really, um, I saw it, I read it and I'm like, yeah. And I went on and I came back to, I came back to it because I thought, you know, this is a really nice, nice quote. So I'm sharing it with you. It is by Gilda Radner. Here's what it looks like. You can't, it's just, I'm just going to read it. 
<clears throat> it's I wanted the perfect ending. I wanted the perfect ending. Now I've learned the hard way that some poems don't rhyme and some stories don't have a clear beginning, middle, or end. Life is about not knowing, having to change, taking the moment and making the best of it without knowing what's going to happen next. It was wonderful. Gilda Radner. Okay, that is all I have for you this week. Don't forget to go look at my um, Etsy store for little Christmas ideas. And um, don't forget to comment, uh, to thumbs up, to leave a star rating in iTunes. I would so appreciate that. Leave a review in iTunes. Leave comments and thumbs up and what have you in the Ravelry group and in the thread, the, the YouTube thread. Thank you so much again. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending a few minutes with me. I'll see you next week. Bye.